You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. Meteorologist Patrick Wright is here now with your forecast. So Patrick, can we expect to see any cool down this upcoming week? Now we will have at least temperatures dropping by a couple of degrees. In some cases, we'll see temperatures down by about five degrees compared to average for this time of year. However, that is not going to last very long. Looking outside right now, it's a nice late July weekend. Temperatures sitting right around average for this time of year. This is from the Oroville State Parks camera looking at Lake Oroville. A very nice view and something we can get out and enjoy for the weekend. We have another warm start to the night though. Summer fields will be back for next week or we'll stick around next week. However, we will see the ret possible return of the 110s later on at the end of next week into next weekend. For now, winds are coming out of the south. We could see gusts up to about 15 miles per hour here or there in the valley. That'll begin to die down tonight with some isolated gusts up to about 20 miles per hour. It's a, again, it's a very rinse and repeat cycle for what we've had the last couple of days. Winds will die down again early tomorrow morning and then pick up again tomorrow afternoon. This is adding more humidity to the air, which does at least slightly reduce our fire danger but it doesn't eliminate it, so use caution when you are out and about this weekend. Lows tonight, mid-60s for the most part across the valley. 66 in Chico, 65 in Redding. The farther south you go, it will be a little cooler. Places like Willows getting down to around 60 degrees, so you should be able to open up your windows this evening and let that fresh air flow in. Highs tomorrow sitting right around the 100 degree mark, if not upper 90s in parts of the valley. This is right around average for this time of year, so we are seeing things bump up a little bit as the ridge of high pressure that's you know, controlling our weather kind of wobbles around. For your hike and bike forecast, drink plenty of water as you're out and about. Temperatures getting to around 90 degrees in the foothills by 4 p.m. This is what we have for the overall pattern. This ridge of high pressure is wobbling around to our southeast, and that's what's causing us to warm up a little bit. It'll move back farther east as we head into the middle of this week, but that does not last long as we start to see things build right back in for next weekend. And what that means temperatures starting to rise. So if you like the cooler weather or at least average weather, do live it up and enjoy it because it will be changing. We will see a slight dip in temperatures coming for the middle of this next week, right around 90 degrees for highs in Chico, mid 90s for Redding and those overnight lows looking pretty good, but we're right back to around 106 degrees by next Saturday. So again, if you like the cooler ish weather, you're going to have to learn to enjoy it while it lasts because things look like they will be changing for next weekend.